reminder to subscribe if you haven't already and check out the guild and the discord while you're down there hello people and welcome back to news review this week there is a new black gold card silovic uh who actually just straight up uh i don't recommend you pull uh that's it for no okay uh that's the law that's the short of it but the reason is not because the card is bad but it's because there have been so many human leaders uh recently so if I just flip over here, if you have any of these, Deku, Shiryasha, uh, Saitama, or Anya, I don't think that you need another human leader. Uh, this card is really not bad, the only problem is that he is human. He's even earth human, which I do have a bias against, but his active also sucks. Which is why, if you have any of the leaders I just mentioned, you don't need this card. I'm not pulling for this card. Uh, as a leader, he has a good attack multiplier, uh, he runs human, earth, and dark members, uh, they get initial attack and HP boost, uh, extend boost movement time by 3 seconds, 6 on both sides, add it up, everything has the effect of everything, uh, that is not heart, and by resolving earth or dark team attack times 4 additionally. For team skills, uh, he gives himself more HP, he ignores burning, he ignores sticky, uh, he recovers HP when you end the runes movement below him, basically either leader and ally in normal circumstances. Although he can only activate when uh, you're using him as a leader, although probably most people are going to use him uh, as a leader and ally combo. Uh, after dissolving runestones, the first batch of runestones to be dropped in the columns below humans will be enchanted runestones of the member's attribute in each column, so basically a sky drop of uh, the attribute. Of the member if that member happens to be human uh, by dissolving three or more types of rune stones all members attack times three ignore fixed combo shield and puzzle shield this synergizes with a previous point right where even if you can't uh, dissolve it first batch it will sky drop and dissolve it for you for each protected rune stone dissolved in the first batch silovic launches an extra attack to the max five extra attacks this is slight synergy with uh, his active when enclosed areas are in play uh, Silovic attack times 5 and his damage will be dealt regardless of defense and second off combo count plus 15 kind of solving uh, you know the problem of no sky drop in the enclosed areas so I mean just like team skill wise his team comp is like fairly flexible right he has you know he can run humans he can run earth he can run dark that's like basically three modes right he can run like a rainbow human team a full earth team or a full dark team uh it, this is why you shouldn't mix earth and dark by the way um because when they're only earth members basically he gets seed reduction when you defeat an enemy and damage dealt to enemies under a controlling skill times two additionally uh that's for himself and then skill cds of all members minus two after entering the stage that's when you have full earth when you have full dark, he turns into dark, skill CDs of all members minus two after entering a stage, same as earth, but then each time you enter a new wave, he enters or stays in a hybrid state for one round, and skill CD minus two additionally again. By dissolving uh, one or more group of five or more dark rune stones, combo count plus six, I think this is kind of useless, because sure, the combo count, like just, you know, if you run him in a full dark team, you get this it's quite good but if the team is lacking combos especially lacking six combos like unless you're running some sort of a like you have to you you have to get that six to reach some ob obscure like really high combo shield i don't think typically like the leader should need this combo count plus six so if you're planning to use him for the member value not really because uh as an earth member he kind of sucks and i mean as a dark member he's fine but you also won't be able to use him to solve achievements because his base element is earth so yeah moving on to the active cd7 release lock skills of humans so here i've made like this compilation of human cards that unlock or prevent locking there are quite a few uh of course birdcage is the original uh unlocking card also earth human cd10 though uh however like there are like two more earth human cards down the line if you see here 
like these ones I don't remember the names of these ones but they have pretty much the same CD or even lower I believe this card uh, CD 6 and then you know basically so love it, is, it, this isn't a new ability is what I'm trying to say uh, clear the hypnotized state of humans again like this is not like something new you can just solve that by putting a hyper state or a whatever state on your members and there are a ton of cards that can do that modify earth and dark to become protected runestones interesting but also once again solves one type of shield and cards that solve one type of shield uh, are either very narrow in their use or just like become worse as that shield is less prevalent uh freeze all enemies to inactivate them there has already been one earth human card that can freeze i believe this freezes for more than one round even gareth right uh, the character launches an extra attack for each attribute i mean sure interesting but there's uh, already doya for that i forgot to put her on here i put her up on screen uh damage will be dealt regardless of defense fine i mean nothing special this effect stays in play until receiving damage from an enemy's attack so it's like pretty often that you will get hit like just nowadays because like i mean he does dodge if he's a leader but he only dodges the first attack of an enemy in the next round what do you mean the next round basically he, he can only dodge once i think is what this wording is trying to say so that's not very good either so i mean the active is like standard it's replaceable by other human cards or earth human cards or earth cards the team comp is standard it's not anything special so i mean theoretically if you don't have any of the human leaders i just mentioned you could get him if you do save your diamonds for like the uh chinese new year black card uh so just yeah if you have the leaders i just said like at the beginning just just save your diamonds that's 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 my opinion this card isn't like anything like super broken or whatever he's just the bog standard black gold card um moving on the dragon isn't particularly good either uh the craft skill doesn't really do anything i mean team attack increases by 40 percent this is not good man now nowadays you don't put attack increases on your craft uh four random earth and dark members on cooldown minus three for their cd it's fine i mean it, once again like this is a lot but then you, you shouldn't really be using this as a cd reduction craft if you want a cd reduction craft you you know you make it yourself and turn the odd columns into earth and turn the even, even columns into dark this can actually just be destructive so uh you know this craft isn't anything particularly good moving on to the ultimate stage uh lucius is this water no this is earth beast i i'm this icon is too small cd7 cds of all enemies will be delayed for one round four round columns made in the first batch will be added to the total combo count so basically it takes your f first batch combos and doubles it when there is tornado uh combos made in the first batch will be added twice the total combo count so if there is a tornado it takes your first batch combo count and then triples it and then you know whatever sky jump you get after that is that this is an, in an interesting card that allows you to get a lot of combos when there is a tornado especially so i think it's worth farming with normal stamina uh the all-star championship which is just a collection of hard stages and popo a new bi-weekly card light beast cd6 release the lock skills of the character upon successful release the character enters a hyper state for three rounds turn fire into heart turn earth into light and for three rounds damage receive minus 60 percent i don't see this card having any use maybe you know he can be kind of like a standard member for like caesar or something because uh, a lot of people if you don't have light beast if you don't have dodo if you don't have uh uh behemoth like this you know could be a slot card in there just because caesar is so broken anyway but yeah get one <laughs> nothing special moving on to the celebration events there are quite a few a uh, returning ultimate stage this card sucks and no, i'll put them on screen right now um the new diamond seal of course then there's something down here oh yeah returning transgregation of Halia. yeah Heart is a great card, Earth Human, uh, I'll put it up on screen, but this transgression is really just, like, 
tedious. It has 40 floors. If you don't really care about the like completing it, clearing the 20th floor will award you with one copy. Uh, I believe it should be better nowadays because like you know power creep and whatever. But when I first attempted this, it was absolutely not like it was just not a good time. Um, and then oh yeah, Mo is hurting in the arena. Don't get him. He sucks. All right, that is it for this week's news review. Uh, basically, don't pull for Silovic if you have the human leaders. Even if you don't have the human leaders, probably still don't pull for him because the Chinese New Year Black Hole will probably be better than them. Uh, that's it for this week's news review. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions, leave down in the comments down below as well. And if you like it in general, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.